Introducing first to my left from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 185 pounds, he is the one, J.T. Dunn! His opponent, to my right, Jake Something! <laughs> Referee Eric Greenleaf calls for the bell and we're off singles action here at Twilight Zone. JT Dunn and Jake Something. A bit of a mismatch here if we're talking in terms of size. No doubt about that, Randy. First time ever in singles competition. And where else are you going to find a match like this besides Limitless Wrestling? For real. And JT Dunn thrown right down to the canvas to kick this one off and now slapping Jake Something across the face. Interesting game plan for JT Dunn. And that's not a question, that's a statement right out of the book of something. Dunn trying to dodge and weave, dodging the big strikes from Jake Something and landing a forearm on the chin. But a goozle from Jake Something sends him right to the floor. The strength of Jake Something. Effortless, effortless. And JT springs in, but Jake Something catches him out of midair. And there's the fingers of the eyes, JT Dunn, finding whatever avenue possible to get out of that. Anything to bring the big man down to one knee, and in that regard, he was successful. Uh oh I may have spoke too soon. Quite a grip on the wrist from something, and a big forearm just about knocking out JT Dunn. What's his name? Did you see the follow-through on that? Blistering. Good thing Eric Greenleaf wasn't in the vicinity because Jake something was flying through. And another one, and Dunn is out. Crumbling to the floor. My God. Dunn using the ropes, trying to pull himself back to a vertical base and something, sizing him up. Here he comes, the big man with a big squash in the corner. Man, that size, how fast he is. Another big squisher from something. And now sends Dunn off the ropes. Oh my God! Discus Lariato turning JT Dunn inside out. And now Dunn rolling to the floor. Something for a man of his size, a very agile dude. We may be seeing that on the here display. he comes. Oh no, Dunn caught him! Mid flight. Could be thinking, suck it, bomb. Nope, Canadian oh, Destroyer out of it. On top of his head. And JT needs to pull the carcass of Jake something back to the center. Makes a cover, leg is hooked. Two, only two from referee Eric Greenleaf. The time it took to reposition Jake something made all the difference. It did, but uh, I mean, Jake something flew across that ring after that Canadian Destroyer. Incredible impact. You can see he's favoring the neck now. I, I can only imagine what pain the neck and head region of Jake Something is in right now. And JT Dunn back to his feet. Now this is prime positioning for JT Dunn to go to work. Grinding away at the face before bringing a forearm across the chest. And now just mocking Jake Something who returns with an overhand chop. But JT Dunn leveling him back to the canvas. Knee meat jaw. JT Dunn, one of the most polished strikers in all of New England. Potentially the toughest task to date. I would say it's definitely the toughest task in a while. And that's not taking anything away from anybody. It's just a testament to the work that Jake Something has put in and the run he's on right now. And now JT Dunn is the one sizing Jake Something up who returns with another big club to the face of the one JT Dunn, who lands on his feet, great agility, and that's wow. a big man, that's a big dude. Ooh, two knees to the jaw, Jake something, this could be it. Two, only two once again from referee Eric Greenleaf. JT Dunn utilizing feints and fakes in the way he just did may be his unlikely path to victory here. He's gonna have to string a lot together, that's for sure. Without a doubt. And 
And this is not what JT Dunn needs to be doing at this point. Very proud of himself. Can't be taking the eye off the ball here. Oh, uh, he should be proud of himself if he walks out of this victorious. Not halfway through this match where Jake something can still answer, but he currently has no answer for the onslaught being put on by JT Dunn. A couple stomps in the corner, now jaw jacking with the fans in attendance. And there he goes, stomping a mud hole in the big man. And now getting in the face of Eric Greenleaf. You don't want to push the officiating here in Limitless Wrestling. JT could be thinking death by elbow. I mean, he should be. That was his ticket to victory in October. Defeating Kevin Blackwood, Pepper Parks, and Andy Williams after he connected with a death by elbow. I mean, that's one of some of the most important matches in Limitless Wrestling history. Damn near won him the title at Welcome to the Dance. And, I mean, it won MJF the title. Go back and watch it. He knocked out MJF, and MJF fell right on to Anthony Green for the pin, so. I remember all too well. I was hoarse for the next three days after that. Oh, wow. He's Picture smart. Perfect. Cravat cinched in. Grounding Jake something. I'm surprised that JT Dunn has been so successful in doing so over the past few minutes. And something now feeling the love from this crowd, gaining some momentum, trying to get back to a vertical base. He's got his feet under him. Throws JT Dunn across the ring. And now Jake something back in command. Oh, oh my God. Northern Lariat from hell. Jake the something opening. he's needed, man. Measuring JT in the... Ooh. Wow. What's he got to be? About 250 pounds? Flying at your abdomen? I don't know how JT Dunn's breathing right now. Let alone still in one piece. What? <laughs> wow. Using his body as a weapon. Jake something now looking to end JT oh. Dunn. Shoulders are down. One, but Jake something not looking for any sort of pin. He's looking for a sit-out powerbomb, and he connects two, only two, JT Dunn with the shoulder up just in a nick of time. What strength out of Jake something, deadlifting JT Dunn off the ground and taking a moment to smell the roses before driving him down. Absolutely, and Jake something Got to stay on the offensive here. JT Dunn picked up a lot of sneaky victories throughout his tenure in Limitless Wrestling just by the power that that death by elbow possesses. Um, what's he doing? My God. Jake something on the second rope. Not familiar territory to the big no, man. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Trying to pick up JT Dunn, but JT fights it off and lands a big kick to the side of the face of Jake something. I'm sure Dunn just saw the life flash before his eyes. I guarantee he did. Uh-oh. Thinking Frankensteiner? Uh-oh. Good God. And Jake something gonna pull him up? No, JT Dunn! Changing directions, flipping Jake something across the ring and potentially saving this match for himself. Look for the Elder K, but he gets dropped on his head. Jake something, one, two, only two once again. Brutal fire thunder driver, I thought that was it. Both men are worn out. Yawn with Maine. Utilizing their adulation, willing both men. Jake something's gotta be wondering what the hell do I gotta do to keep this guy down? Without a doubt. I don't think he saw JT Dunn as being as resilient as he is. Now both men. Oh no. my God. That's the choice you make face to face with Jake something. Ballsy is JT Dunn. Connecting with big forearms and a boot. And Jake something looking for a clothesline done right out of the ring. Ah! Jake something flies over the top, unbelievable! A man his size should not be able to fly like that, but Jake something does it with ease. Absolutely. Not only does he fly like that, he lands on his feet. Yeah, what the fuck? Come on. Unparalleled athleticism. 
what's he doing here? He's thrown JT Dunn's lifeless body against that bottom rope. And now he's got about 20, 30 feet between him and the one JT Dunn. And there's Shake something throwing his entire body at JT Dunn, using his body as a weapon once again. And this could be it for JT Dunn. Out on his, wow. no, unbelievable. Death Valley driver from Dunn, that could be. He kicked out at one. My God. Only a one count Dunn trying to stay on the offensive and throwing the boot, but something catches it. Good Lord, Dunn on his feet, death by elbow, there it is. This could be it. Two, three, and just like that, there is your winner, JT Dunn. Here JT prides winner, himself on that old one. JT Dunn. One and done. That's yes, all it takes. That's all it takes. That death by elbow connects nearly every time. Fans are pissed. Throwing their jackets, flipping off JT Dunn. But the fact remains, your winner of two straight here in Limitless Wrestling is the one, JT Dunn.